Praise Chains videos, and we are here with another Spirit Halloween 2022 unboxing. Recently, I did Lord Raven. He's actually up behind us. You can't see him, but this is Monty, another one of my favorite animatronics for the 2022 season. Super happy I was able to get him. Uh, and also, let me just mention, his box is a great size. Like, I'm really happy with how they're making it's the box small and better for storage this year. I think that's great, especially considering he's such a big prop. The fact that they were able to fit him into this small box. He's Good job, Spirit. $99.99. Of course, you can use a coupon and stuff. There's his backstory. What's yeah. his backstory? It's about a kid wishing for his toy to come to life, so it came to life. His toy was a six-foot monkey? So, Gordon. here we are with Monty. Um, I'm excited to open him up. Really cool. Something very different for Spirit. So, let's get this box open up here. Let's do it. Right off the bat, we have instructions. We have either arm pulls or light. Oh, I think it would be arm. Um, we got the Why is it like that? the shoulder bracket, which is stuck on the mechanism. Oh, that's nice. They do pad it pretty well. There's another arm shoulders, pull, and then you have the shoulder bracket. This is the mechanism. Not as intense as the last one we just did, which was Lord Raven. The clothes and the box. Okay, so those both come in the same bag. Monkey feet. That's pretty large. Like I said, he is a large prop. He's six feet tall, but I think his, Monkey foot. his proportions are rather large, especially his head, which we will get to Damn. momentarily. This is a leg pole. I, now, I don't know. Does Monty have a tail? Yeah, they put... They put these on here to really protect it. They're really doing good with their packaging. There's the speaker this year. box, which the speakers are a lot better this year. Oh yeah, for sure. This one I'm assuming is hopefully. Well, I know he's not pretty loud from what some people have said, but I it's probably high quality, knowing SVI. Hand then again, Lord Raven doesn't have the best quality speakers. This is probably um, this is actually higher quality than I thought it'd be. It's a thin. It's not a very thick plastic, but it's much thicker than I expected. Should have been an actual symbol. Yeah, it really should have been. Or something that just looks like one that's just metal. I mean, another I guess that would be an actual symbol, but... Leg pull, I take it. That's another leg pull, and they've got these caps on them. This. this is, is that the best part? The head. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, that is huge. Hold on, let me get Collector's this. huge. That is a Cardboard. big head. Take a look at that. That is really big. Monkey. Here's the waist bracket. And this is interesting. It's and that is box. his base, but it's a block. Because it is for the uh, the box he's standing on. And the uh, the adapter. adapter. So he's got quite a few parts. Um, the box is pretty neat. This, the entire this is frame of cool. the box is the box. Yeah, that's actually what the box is. It, it's The entire frame is this box and all of this stuff is packed within the structure of this thing. So we are going to get this set up now. So let's get to it. Here is Monty fully set up. He is absolutely massive. 
Now he is six feet tall as specified, maybe a little bit taller, I think he might be. Um, but he is around six feet tall, but his proportions are just huge. Like he has a giant head, even his body's really big. He's just a really big prop overall, much bigger than I was expecting. Not to mention, he's incredibly creepy, and that is what I like to see. He's just a super cool one for sure, and I think he's definitely one of the best of the year. His face, as you can see, is just really, really creepy looking, and I think it would definitely scare or just creep out a lot of people. I think his costume looks great too. I love that he has the actual fur on there, and it's visible in a lot of areas. So I do appreciate that a lot. It really looks good. It doesn't look cheap either. It looks like actual fur, which I think is definitely a big plus. His symbols aren't the best. I mentioned this when I was unboxing him. His symbols aren't the best, but they're not as bad as I thought they would be. They are not as um, thin of a plastic as I thought. I think they could have been better. I think if it was real symbols, even if it would have brought the price up some, I think it would have definitely been preferable. However, these aren't that bad of a plastic. They're, they, I think they'll last you. They're not a cheap plastic that's just gonna crack or anything. They definitely will last. I think they would just, honestly, for appearance wise, I think they would look better if they weren't. Also, they, they do get warped sometimes in the box as this one did just a little bit. I've seen ones that are worse. This one's not too bad, so, but just be aware of that. Like I said, his outfit's really cool too. I really like the yellow and then, of course, the red pinstripes there, the red and white uh, pinstripes. Very carnival, circus-like, very vintage carnival and circus-like. And then you've got his feet and his, his box that he stands on with that star on it. So, this is obviously not an animatronic I'm going to be using in my haunt this year, as my haunt theme is an asylum. However, I, do, I did want to get this guy because I think he's just super cool. I like using him for decoration purposes this year, and possibly I'll use him in a haunt in the future, but for this year specifically, I'm just going to use him for Halloween decoration purposes, though he is really really cool and uh, though he isn't a very versatile animatronic he's definitely a carnival or circus animatronic i think he is more versatile than your average clown because clowns really only fit in that theme i think this guy could fit in obviously he can fit in a toy store he can fit in some kind of bedroom or attic he can fit in a carnival a circus you know th there's a lot of different things name something that has a creepy toy like this or anything and i think it works Something very, very interesting about him that I also want to mention. For one, I think it's awesome that we got a carnival type animatronic that isn't just a clown because carnivals do have more than just clowns, believe it or not. And so I think it's incredibly cool to get something like that. But not only that, this is designed after the Jolly Chimps, the, the old, to, old uh, vintage toys, the Jolly Chimps, which is basically what Monkey Chimes was pulling inspiration from, which I still love Monkey Chimes. Uh, this is a full Monkey Chimes, which I never thought we'd get. But it's basically what he's pulling in inspiration from. But this thing is literally the exact, it's exactly what the Jolly Chimp is, just scary and massive. It has the same clothing and everything, which is really cool. Now, I will get into what I think they could have done better with that look after I show what he does because mostly it has to do with his animation and his audio but I think overall look wise he looks awesome even if you got this guy just to use him as a static prop I think he would look great because you could just see him standing here not even moving he looks awesome he just looks like a defunct animatronic which is another thing I want to mention one thing I really like about him is one of the things that I personally find super creepy are actual old animatronics that aren't meant to look super scary but just are because they're creepy and that's what this guy reminds me of and it basically is what he is because the jolly chimps are old animatronics and he basically just is a jolly chimp made scary and so he is an animatronic of an animatronic which i think is awesome it's something that i've been wanting to see for a while this type of weird animatronic type vibe and honestly i don't know if you guys will agree but he gives me very five nights at freddy's vibes the more i see him and mostly when he's turned off he gives me very five nights at freddy's type of animatronic creepy vibes and i think that's just incredibly cool. 
about him and it's something that really we've never seen before but at the same time though he looks like a big animatronic or a big oversized scary toy he definitely also works as an actual crazed monkey there's many different things you can use this guy for and i think that's a great thing about him but without further ado let's show what monty does So his activation isn't very long, but I think it's pretty good for what it is. Now I'm starting to get more accustomed to it, but when I first saw what he does, I really expected him to go crazy with those symbols, like bash them together really fast. And I also expected him to screech, because that's what the Jolly Chimps do. Um, but he makes more gorilla type sounds which is kind of weird. I didn't expect that at all. Though the more and more I see him, the more I'm just growing used to it and not even caring. Like at first I was like, ah, oh, that's kind of disappointing. It's not what I expected. But the more I see it, the more I'm growing used to it and I don't really mind it anymore. I think it works for what he is. And considering though he is a jolly chimp, he's an oversized monstrous jolly chimp, it works for sure. And, um, I don't really have an issue with it, I just think it definitely would have been cool if he would have bashed those symbols together and actually screeched. I feel like that would have been a little bit more startling, a little bit more unsettling, and definitely more surprising for sure. It definitely would have surprised a lot more people, um, but I th still think he'll creep a lot of people out in whatever you use him for, which is a big plus because that's what you want for Halloween. He's a really, really cool one. His speaker, surprisingly, of course the audio quality is great on him, however, he's not very loud. I have him at full volume, and it seems like it's only like half volume, which is kind of surprising, because usually SVI, which is who this guy's made by, usually their speakers are pretty loud. I don't know why it's not on him, especially on him with his, his sounds he makes and the cymbals crashing, I would have expected a louder speaker. However, of course, you always have the external speaker jack option so if you do have an external speaker you can hook him up to that which is probably what I will eventually end up doing because I think he's definitely an animatronic that should be loud considering he's smashing cymbals together I think having him the louder the better and it'll be more of a startling and more of a shocking thing his price is $299.99 again the prices are high this year um, so it's to be expected that this guy wouldn't be the cheapest, however I don't think that price is too great. I got him for 225 so I would always recommend using a coupon or in a, just if you're an employee, of course that employee discount, whatever you can do to bring this guy's price down. Um, I wouldn't recommend paying full price because that is a pretty penny for any animatronic, let alone this guy. He is massive, so I do understand the price more than I did when I first saw pictures and videos of him. I didn't think he was going to be this large, which he he's huge. I, let me just tell you, if you haven't seen this guy in person yet, he's huge. Um, I think it's more justifiable, but I still don't think it's the best price. I think around 250 would have been better for him, for sure. Uh, I'm happy with what I paid for him. I think definitely worth that price in my opinion though I would have preferred if he was 250 then we could get him for even cheaper with discounts but with that aside I do think he is a great animatronic and I don't think he's one of the worst prices this year if you like him I'd say go for him he's really cool and I have a strong feeling that he's gonna be one of the best sellers of this Halloween season um, typically the more uh, really out there and bizarre and really I would just say unique things are a lot of times some of the best sellers especially when they have the carnival and circus vibe and so I do think for sure he is going to be a pretty hot seller this season so if you want him I'd say get him as soon as possible that's why I grabbed him as soon as I saw him because I know there probably won't be too many chances to do so and I think he's definitely one of my favorite ones of the year 
Great animatronic, really love his look. I think his look is definitely one of the coolest parts about him. His animation's pretty great too, but like I mentioned, even if you just want him as a static prop, he looks great just like this. Really creepy looking at him, and the more and more I look at him, the more, the more creepy he becomes for some reason. The more I take in the detail and just how incredible he looks and how realistic he looks, it's just really awesome and I think seeing something like this from Spirit is great and I really want to see more unique and cool concepts like this that are still legitimately scary. I think unique things are great and scary things that are unique are even better and this guy is just that. So I really hope to see more things like this in the future. Keep throwing us random stuff spirit keep throwing us stuff that's really out there like this guy is that you wouldn't really think of them making yet they made anyways really cool highly recommend him if you want him i hope you all enjoyed this video the halloween season is beginning spirit halloween stores are now opening and all the other stores are rolling out their halloween home depot halloween and party city i'm super excited for this season stay tuned because there's going to be so many more videos haunt builds films reviews store walkthroughs halloween horror nights all of that good stuff the best time of the year is starting so stay tuned there's going to be so many more videos coming your way for the next three months, which are the greatest months of the year, undeniably. I hope you all enjoyed. Keep howling at the moon, my werewolves.